Lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. looking forward to seeing this a capacity crowd here well on the face of it Peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest So it's away we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Dries Mertens. He's just so quick and elusive, Peter. He'll be in behind that defensive line before they even know what's hit them. The way he drifts across the forward line also makes him very difficult to track. And he often lures defenders out of position, creating space for others to sneak into. I think he's going to be a real hit here. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Schuller. Tony Kroos. Schuller drives it forward. Werner. Keeps everyone guessing. This could fall anywhere! He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Oh, he's not going to get that. Royce. And here's Sané. Crosses into the box. And he's cut it out. Witzel, and it's played forward. Dinks one in. Keira is making a foray down the right. Whipped in. Courtois can claim that. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw.
Torkan Hazard. Into the channel. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Hoists it forward. A really good feat from him. There are a few waiting for it. Kira. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And here's Canabri. Royce. It's a great ball. Diving header! Oh, not the best of headers. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Aldevera goes looking. Mertens. Pumps it into the air. Towering header! Goal! Belgium! And Belgium are ahead! Oh, the cross was inch perfect, and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Belgium draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Played back in. Oh, sweet feet. Kroos making use of the space out wide. Has a goal! Gnabry collects the ball from behind. Heads it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. De Bruyne, hit long and direct. Lukaku has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Kimmich, out to the left it goes. Sané. Germany are trailing here with the first half almost done. And here's Royce, Royce, Royce with the cross. Well positioned to make that interception. Kimmich. Kimmich. Switches it towards the other side. And it's Tony Kroos. Kroos tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Sané. That'll be a throw in. Now 
it's Royce. of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And the second half gets on the way. Germany need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. It's a decent-looking cross. Token Hazard. Company drives it towards the front. Gnabry looking to run onto it. Looking for a decent ball in. Plays it. Chance! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Tony Kroos, across the field it goes, and it's Gnabry. He's got options out wide. Courtois catches it safely. towards the front line. That's not going to make it. Witzel, Lukaku. And here's Mertens. <laughs> Royce did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. He's got away. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Real chance! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Germany showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Very well to intervene. That's a foul, no two ways about it. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Tongan and here's Azar. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. That's a has a hit! Goal! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens.
Germany grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Has a pop! Oh, just couldn't quite turn it in. Well, I thought the keeper was really confused as to what to do then, whether to come and take it or stay on his line, and yet in the end, he's allowed to get away with uh, a lot of indecision there. Time for a change in personnel. Into with the crossfield ball. Werner plays it out to the wing. Sane with a delicate ball. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Oh, good interception. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Sane puts it into the middle. Germany showing a good level of intensity at this stage. He's gone for it! Oh, should have put that away. Well, we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner. That chance could have been it too. Witzel. Token Hazard. This is intriguing. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. And it's Lukaku. Witzel. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, that is rather wayward. Belgium really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. Sané. That is an adventurous run down the left-hand side. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Mertens is on to it and can take it up. He came in hard, very hard. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Gnabry, full tilt down the right-hand side. Oh, well played, he needed to get that right. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending it. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, and it's been a contest between two sides that were evenly matched on the day. Neither deserves to be on the losing side. So all square. We need a winner, and we will be back for extra time. Stern test this for the endurance, for the character of the players as we head into extra time. Hitzel plays a clever pass. It's Witzel. De Bruyne. Gorgeous control there. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And he is going into that little black book.
Cruz is there and he can get that clear. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And helps available out wide. No, too much on it. Witzel. Lukaku really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Company. Forward it goes. Tony Kroos. Witzel. Half time, extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? This has been enthralling. So, what do the last 15 minutes have left? Can't get the better of his opposite number. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Mertens... ...tries to get it clear. Ferreira Carrasco delivers. Big chance! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows, so concentration is key from here. Carrasco going through. Rudiger hit the slide tackle there. And he nearly went all the way. Well, at least the crowd are appreciative of his efforts. Pereira Carrasco. Board pass. Kimmich plays it forward. Hits one! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. And that will be the final act. Germany probably deserved a share of this. But of course, you don't always get what you deserve. And they're going to have to swallow a defeat.
Mitchell, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Germany really will be deflated by the result, not just because they lost, but the manner of this defeat, Peter. It remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.